and I watched linoleum and I was just, I was, my jaw dropped. I'm like, you know, he goes, maybe this is why they always say comedians are the best actors, dramatic actors, because I, I watched the trailer, which I ha- now have to see of being Frank, which looks hilarious, but like linoleum, I don't even recognize you. And it took me forever to go. Is that, is he playing that guy too? No, he's got a different voice. He, he looks completely different. I was baffled by it. Oh, well, thanks. Yes. Well, you know, you know, this is the perception industry, right? And so I, you know, and I'm sure that like you were forever trying to like not be Lex Luthor, right? So you're, you know, the perception thing is there is uh so like look, I like stand-up comedy. I mean, I love stand-up comedy, I love comedy and all that, but like for me, it's about what's creatively fulfilling. And so um, the more complex a role, usually in an indie, usually in a drama, is more fulfilling acting. And so yeah, yeah, I'd rather do that than, you know, I mean, I'd have fun on a uh, working on a comedy, you know, but it's not as fulfilling probably as playing uh you know a a guy who believes in snake healing you know i did this movie them that follow that you know like that's you know like there's kind of the the minutia of dramatic roles that are it's uh it's more fulfilling i think yeah you know i mean comedy's fun but like uh, and maybe because I get to do stand up that I don't feel the need to kind of um, go go into that thing. But it's, you know, so I'm perceived as a comedian. And then I've ever whenever I do a movie and then there's press afterwards, it's it's always like people don't realize that I've been doing uh, dramas for a while because yeah. none of them are that successful. So it's like, but it's all right. It's, you know, there's gotta be a narrative to everything. Yeah. Right? I, th- I think they do. It's I said to Ryan, I said, there's no doubt. I could totally see you getting nominated for an Oscar sometime. I, I, I just genuinely not because I'm not blowing smoke. It's just because I just don't, when people see it, it's like, you're, you're just so different, which is great the juxtaposition of seeing you doing comedy and being the funny guy and very personal and then playing this quirky character from a little place in Ohio. And, you know, and look, linoleum is screening right now at the Palm Springs international fest. It was in South by Southwest. It's won awards, Tony Shalhoub. The whole cast is great. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's just weird. I was talking to your publicist again. I was like, you know, it's touching, it's mysterious. It's thought provoking, uh, at the end, it brought me to tears for some reason because yeah. I, I don't want to yeah, say, no. say anything, but like the old man with the, you know, I don't want to give it away, but like huh. just the whole thing and then putting it together. I was like, did I get this right? Is this what I, this is what I, my interpretation was. And huh. she's like, yeah, that's, that's right. And I came, gave myself a pat on the back, but um, it, it deals with issues of identity and memory and achievement, but deals with hope as sad as it can be at times. Yeah. And uh you know, I just, I really, and I watched it this morning, dude, and getting me to watch oh, anything, yeah. I'm yeah. fucking like, so I was like, I really urge people to go see Linoleum when it comes out in selected theaters and whenever. Do you have any idea when that's going to be right now? We'll just post I that I think 